Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum. Hi. My name is Rajin Rasmin Balkis, Miti Raja Zainal Akram. I am from group J4 EM1104E. And today, I will be doing the PLC Lab Simulation Lab Sheet 3 with my two other friends, Amar Zakon and also Iza Atira. So, I will be doing the first ladder diagram in the software as the question is the game buzzer control requirement after the host has finished with question then the three players will press the switch in front of them to fight to be the first to answer the question the buzzer will sound for 10 seconds after any one of the player has touched the switch and then the light indicator in front of each player will light up and only reset by the host switch so as we see here the X3 is the start push button 1, X4 is start push button 2, X5 is start push button 3. The XO is the reset switch which is the host and then the timer, uh, timer 1, Y0 is the buzzer, the Y1 is the player 1, light, Y2 is the player 2 light and the Y3 is the player 3 light. And then, so we will be start doing the first one we enter uh, first push button x3 and then we put the, the output as r1 as it is the relay which is the memory that will be linked r1 and then we will add another round over here R1 as this is the memory that will be connected to the um, X3 reset by the host switch which means um, the research switch is XO so the host will always be here as the X0 and then because uh, it will reset all right so that is for the push button and then now we will be link the relay to the player one light as here the light indicator in front of each player will light up and only reset by the whole switch and then the buzzer will sound for 10 seconds so now we want to show the each player's light so the x3 will be for the push button for player 1 light so that we put here R1 and as the output we will put it Y1 like that and then we will continue with X4 which is the start push button 2 so we will insert x2 and then we also need to put the reset switch at each push button because the light will only light up only by reset the host switch so that x0 need to be at each line so here we will be link it with the relay to memory then we will be putting here R2. Now, we will be doing the same thing for the player 2 light, which is we will be using the same memory. And then for the output, we put it Y2. Here, we are using the memory as, the, as these memories will be on by the x3 the x3 will on and then this memory will keep on so until uh, it reset when it reset and then the light will be on and then here we will be continuing with x5 and then we need to also insert the X0 as the reset switch and then for the output we will use for player light 3 Y3 
and then we will link it with the memory of R3 and then now here for the light is R3 And then here will be again the R3 and then the output will be Y3. Alright, so for now that we want to interlock each player's light. So they say that if the first player got to press the switch in front of them first so the player 2 and player 3 light will not be on so that we add here we'll be putting not and not r2 and also not r3 and then as for the first push button for the second push button we so if the player 2 we got to push the button first so the player 1 and player 3 will not be able to push the button so we put here r1 We will put here not R1 and also not R3. Alright, and then as for the push button 3, if the player 3 got to push the button first, so the player 1 and player 2 will not be able to light up the switch here will be oh no not r1 and then also not r2 all right and then that's all from me now we will move to amar so he will finish the rest and we can do the simulation with Iza. Thank you. Assalamualaikum and hello. Uh, my name is Muhammad Marzaku Ambi Ahanua and my metric number is 2019-2245-44 and today I am going to proceed the progress from the Yasmin. Okay, for this part, I will coding the code to make the buzzer to sound for the 10 seconds after the after one of the player touch the switch and then uh, I will set the timer TIM1 for the K 10 second okay before that I will set the program to make the light for the player 3 will on when the player 3 push the button okay then we need to set the input R3 for the player 3 enter and the output is Y3 for the player 3 light. Okay, the output is Y3. Enter. Finish for the uh, memory for the player 3. And then we will set the program to make the time to set the timer and to on the buzzer. Okay, now we will set the input to make sure the buzzer will on when the, the player uh, push the button. Okay, first insert the input r1 for the memory for the memory one for the memory one for the play one and then we will put the or to make sure the the sequence will be choose either three uh, either three of them we will choose one to to make sure the buzzer to on and the light will emerge okay now we will set the or r2 for the player two and then or R, R3 for the player 3 and then 
and then we will set the output for this sequence is to the set the buzzer is the y0 for the buzzer okay Out, output y0 okay now we have finished for the set the program for the buzzer okay now we will set to make sure the buzzer will sound for the for the 10 second when the player has touched the switch okay now we have do the same again from buzzer and same with as the timer okay then then we have set the input r1 for the player 1 we need put the or r true r2 and then set the last one the player 3 r3 okay now we set the timer tm tm and we choose tmy one for the timer one and then k for 10 seconds okay that's all for the ladder diagram now we will move on to the uh, simulation thank you hello and assalamualaikum my name is Iza Azira binti Ahmad Sirfan I'm from Jifu E M 104 e and my metric number is 2019217798 so in this um, lab 3 I'm going to do the simulation part okay for the question okay so we need to turn the debug and then simulation we, turn, we press ok yes Okay, now we will press the online and then uh, enter the first input or output. Okay, so here we have four input, which are the first one is the X0, which is the reset switch. And then enter the device again for the X3, X3, which is the start push button one. And then enter the device again for the X4, which is the uh, start push button two. And then enter the device for the X5, which is the start push button three. Okay, so we have um, four input here and then we can see that this is the red one for the input already turned to the red one color. Okay, now we will proceed. Okay, so first thing first, we need to um, reset the switch of this X0 so that the, the each one of the player can uh, push the uh, button. Okay, so we'll uh, turn on the X0. Okay, so we can see here X0 is turned on. Okay, so let's say if the player 1 uh, already pushed the button uh, earlier than the uh, player 2 and also the player 3. So we will try to turn on the X3 which is the start push button 1 for the player 1. Okay, so we will try to turn on. Okay, so this is after the host have finished uh, questions and so on. Okay, so we try to turn on. Okay, so we see here that the R1 is on and then the Y1 which is the uh, button for the uh, light for Y1 is turned on okay and then we can see that the buzzer also is um, turned on and it's uh, counting its timer for 10 seconds okay so we wait after the 10 second of buzzing here okay so after the buzzer has reached 10 seconds so the um, Y1 which is the uh, player 1 light so the light of the button still on because um, the host doesn't not uh, yet um, reset the switch again okay so what we need to do is that we need to turn on turn off the uh, X3 okay so after it already um, already not push the button okay and then we need to reset back we need to turn off again so that each one of the player can uh, press the button like usual after the host have finished with the question okay so we will see with the um x uh, four okay so when the um host has finished with question and so on so it will uh, reset the uh, switch so that uh, each one of the player can um can uh, answer the question Okay, so let's say if the uh, player 2 uh, will uh, push the button first. So what happened here with the same. So the R2 will be uh, turned on and then the light uh, 2 for the player 2 will turn on. And also the Y0 for the player 2 will turn on. So the Y0 is the buzzer will turn on and it will count uh, until uh, 10 seconds. It will buzz for 10 seconds. Okay, and then uh, this is the uh, for the player 2, R2 connection relay. Okay, so we wait for the after 10 seconds. 
Okay, so after it finish, it goes um, the same again, so we need to turn off and then we need to reset back for the um, reset switch. Okay, so we turn on again, okay, so we will reset and then we will try to, let's say, if the X5, uh, which is the start bu push button 3, which the player 3 is um, push first, push the button first, okay, so we see that Y3 also. We turn on and then the timer will um, move for the buzzer for 10 seconds. So the R3 here, we turn on. Okay, and so on. So it's like that. Okay, okay we will wait for until it's reached 10 seconds. Okay, so this is how the sequence for the uh, this question. Okay, so let's say if we want to try to, okay, with off first, for off, and then, okay, and on. Okay, so let's uh, try if we want to on. Okay, so let's say if the player one is uh, push the button first. Okay, it will count for 10 seconds for the uh, buzzing, buzz, the timer. Okay, so let's say if the X4 also wants to try to uh, on. Okay, so what happened here is that, okay, so there is nothing that, uh, the player 2 can do because the player 2 can't um, uh, like the uh, button and also the buzzer will not like uh, not uh, sound for the uh, player 2 because the player 2 uh, the, because the player 1 has reached first so when the player 1 has already uh, pushed the button so the player 2 and the player 3 can do anything so we will see um, again Okay, so if you on the um, reset switch and then we try to okay let's say the player two okay uh has pushed the button first and then when the player three wants to turn when wants to press the button also okay so if we can see that the number three player the y3 uh, doesn't uh can't do anything like it doesn't affect anything because the y the player two has already uh pushed the button first Okay, so it will be like this. Okay, so this is all for the, um, for the, uh, simulation. Okay, so I think that's all. Okay, so thank you.